All right, the time is finally here. We have the Thrive Apprentice Visual Editor, finally. What is the Thrive Apprentice Visual Editor? Well, the easiest way to explain it is it's the ability to customize the visual side of Thrive Apprentice in nearly any way that you want. Thrive Apprentice now has customization and in a way integration with Thrive Theme Builder, meaning that your Thrive Apprentice courses no longer look completely dated and detached from the rest of your website. In many ways, Thrive Apprentice now has its own theming system. It utilizes pretty much the exact same technology that Thrive Theme Builder introduced, giving us the ability to update templates and assign different designs to different courses and to pretty much allow us to make whatever we can think of now using Thrive Apprentice. So my goal for this video is to give you a quick walkthrough, just taking a look briefly at some of the new features. I've gone ahead and also written a blog post over at Convology. Let me go ahead and, and show you that right now. So if you're interested uh, in learning more about these details, I have at Convology uh, gone through and broken them all down, showing you what is available. Um, but we're going to go through most of this inside our video today. Okay, so the biggest change now is the design tab is pretty much just like Thrive Theme Builder's dashboard. You have the ability to create multiple designs. And what I really like about this is that you can create a design and keep it in like a draft mode so that before you're ready to publish that design, you can edit each of your templates and not have it go live. That's actually a really, really neat feature. So you can also see down below, they have what's called the legacy editor. And the legacy editor is the old way of doing things. It's that old school detached looking Thrive Apprentice look that we all just loved so much. Um, so when you've migrated away from that, it stays down here at the bottom uh, so that if for some reason you wanted to switch back, um, you could. I don't know who would do that. Uh, and then once you've got your main design, your active design, you'll see it here at the top. I've already migrated my Convology site over to the new design. So that's what you're seeing here at the top. So once you've migrated over, you'll see something like this. And all you have to do is push edit design. And it brings you to the familiar looking, again, it's very similar to Thrive Theme Builder. It brings you to this dashboard. Now, a couple of really cool things to point out, you can inherit typography settings from Thrive Theme Builder with just a toggle. I think that's really cool. Um, I've gone ahead and not done that. I've kept my typography settings separate, um, but you can totally create your own theming if you want or just inherit it. Uh, they've also got the wizard, um, which we're going to jump into next. And then once you've completed the wizard, you pretty much never have to go back to it. Um, you can just edit your templates. And this is probably the section that I use most. But taking a quick peek at the wizard, you'll see that it's pretty much just like Thrive Theme Builder. And I'm going to say that a lot because it is. Uh, we can choose our logo, our brand colors. We can inherit these from uh, Thrive Theme Builder. You can choose a header. So if you wanted to keep a separate header from the rest of your website, which uh, if your courses are on your same website as your main website, you might want a separate header entirely. Maybe you've branded your courses as part of your academy or you've come up with something clever. You could do that. You could put a separate logo, a separate header, a separate footer. Uh, for me, since my courses are all on a subdomain, I kind of have a header that I want for all of my members anyway. So I've just gone ahead and finally been able to inherit that from Thrive Theme Builder with just the click of a button. Um, and then you can walk through uh, this whole process, which basically has you choosing those default templates, kind of like in Theme Builder. Uh, if you're like me and uh, if you've taken my Theme Builder course, you'll see that uh, I pretty much just quickly pick a template, but then we dive in and we edit those. And that's what I've done at Convology. So if I go back to my design tab and I go to edit design again, and I go to my manage template section, this is kind of where, where really all the magic happens. I've created my own templates for my standard video. I don't use audio. I wish I could just delete that. Maybe I can. I can't. I don't use audio lessons ever. I've got my module overview. So if somebody clicks into a course, they'll see uh, a mod my list of modules and they can, they can click into a module and then see an overview. Um, I personally don't use my module overviews all that much. Um, I guess I could go into each of my courses and put a description. Um, I just don't. I figure most of my stuff happens at the lesson view and modules are just an organizational tool that I use. But I've now designed that page. Uh, and I'll, we'll take a look at some of these. Um, we got the course overview page, which um, I hadn't given much credit to in the past. Um, but basically when they click into a course off of your course index or what they're calling now the school homepage, um, that's basically what they see when they click into a course. And I'll show you that as well. And then we also have the default school homepage, speaking of, which is what we call the course index. And now we can finally customize this. I was able to turn off that redirect um, so I'd created a video in the past about creating your own custom course index page. 
Um, totally still applicable because it utilizes the exact same tech, uh, but now it's built into Thrive Apprentice. So cool. Uh, and last but not least, we have the default restricted access page, which for me is just a, a shell that holds the display content section, which Thrive has done a great job on. So what I'm gonna do now is show you some of my templates, show you some of the things that I've done. Again, it's all just visuals, right? There's no functionality here. Uh, well, a little bit of functionality, but it's mostly all just visuals. I go into a lot more depth into all of these and creating all these along with my recommendations in my Thrive Apprentice course. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the description and you can enroll. And by the end of this week, I'll have that fully updated with all of the Thrive Apprentice visual editor videos. So let's take a quick little peek at a couple of my different templates. So here's a quick little peek at the member dashboard for my Convology course website. Uh, and this is just something that I built. I include the template for this as well as some of the code that you'll need um, that includes a cool little login mechanism in my Thrive Apprentice course. Um, and this is not part of Thrive Apprentice, but this is how my students get to the courses. So we click on view course and you'll see that this is now the new course index. I built this using the Thrive visual editor and I have all of my different courses here that are available. So we've got my convert quiz funnels course that's coming out at the end of this week. I'm excited for that, but let's go ahead and just take a peek into, um, oh, let's jump into my Thrive theme builder course and, and take a look at what these templates look like. So this again is what I've built using Thrive Apprentice Visual Editor. I have a few tweaks I still wanna make. Um, I've played around with this. It took me about 15 minutes to do this. So not a lot of time at all, um, but mine's very simple. My style is very simple, very clean. Um, so this would be considered the course overview page. I have my dynamic title. I have my breadcrumbs, which look really, really nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. Um, they're actually usable now. I used to always hide them with CSS. In fact, I probably have to go back in and look at my CSS and take out a bunch of junk. Uh, my images here, um, those are pretty cool. I got my course description. This is brought in dynamically from the course description section inside the backend of Thrive Apprentice. So all dynamic. I didn't have to come in and manually do any of this after I created my template. I have this like get started thing here. I don't know, maybe I'll get rid of this. Uh, and then I have my course list. And I really like this because um, what's neat is that if someone has already taken my course or started taking my course, they can see which lessons they've completed um, by seeing this revisit lesson option or go to lesson if they haven't started it. So I don't know, let's pick one here uh, that we wanna jump into so we can see what it looks like. Oh, I know, let's take a look at the module overview. So I'm going to click into one of these module pages so this is what the module overview looks like. And this is what I've built and designed. So again, I brought over my consistent header. This is consistent through all of my course pages. It dynamically pulls in my title, dynamically pulls in my breadcrumbs, um, little consistency things. They have slashes here, but dots on the previous one. I might look at that, slashes look pretty good. Um, and I've created my course list. Again, I wanna be consistent. So I've chosen the same course list for my module overview and my course overview. And again, it allows them to revisit. But one of the new things, and this is pretty much the only new functionality on, on Thrive Apprentice Visual Editor, is this really neat sidebar that just slid in. I don't know if you caught that. Let me, let me refresh here. Uh, you can see it slid in and it kind of pushed the rest of the content over. I just think that looks so good. Uh, and it's, it's toggleable. They can collapse it and it pushes over the content. Man, that looks good. Um, and then from here, they can see what percentage they've done on the course. Uh, for me, I've... 68% through my own course, I guess. And you can see check marks next to what's completed. Um, finally, this is actually usable and it gets rid of that old archaic WordPress widget based sidebar. Um, it's really cool now. Um, I'm really, really liking this. And then they can expand out these different sections and see all of the lessons. Or if there's one uh, with chapters, I don't think this course has chapters. Um, but what's really nice here is that it's just so easy to navigate. Finally, people or students can come in here and see what they have and haven't done. And they can see that, oh, there's 10 lessons in this module and they can click in. So that was the module overview. Let's jump into an actual lesson and take a look at that. Okay, so this is one of my lessons inside of my Thrive Theme Builder course. And you can see, again, consistency with my title section and my breadcrumbs, although not slashes this time. I gotta look into my breadcrumbs. Uh, and then we have the video. I pretty much only do videos in my courses. Uh, I added a previous lesson and then I have a next lesson. And when they click next lesson, it will check mark 
the lesson that they're on. In fact, why don't we try that out right now? I'm going to jump to the typography setup lesson of this course, and then I am going to press mark lesson complete. Oh, that's interesting. So they had done that automatically. I was in a lesson I'd previously completed, and now I have not completed this lesson, but if I do mark it complete, we'll go ahead and click that. There it is, it said lesson marked complete. I don't know if you caught that little notice at the top, that was cool. Uh, I didn't even know that was a thing. And you can see here on the left, sure enough, it is checkmarked that it is completed. Um, so this is my very, very simple setup. I have comments down at the bottom using Thrive uh, comments. I have my next lesson options and my video. I've kept mine super clean. Um, so really, this, this is all there is to the update. It is the ability to 100% customize everything related to Thrive Apprentice. We have a completely finally usable sidebar. We have completely customizable uh, course overview, module, different lesson types. Uh, I'm just really pleased with this. I think this puts Thrive Apprentice on par with, actually, I think it exceeds some of the other uh, LMS platforms for WordPress, like LearnDash uh, will for sure exceeds it with customization. And now I think with functionality, um, we've reached a point where Thrive Apprentice is competitive. Uh, so not only now is, is Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder one of the best ways to build your websites, but now Thrive Apprentice, um, even though I've always recommended it and it's what I've always used, it's definitely uh, upped its game and it's absolutely something that you should consider using if you're not already using it uh, for your website. If you are interested in learning more about Thrive Apprentice, I do have a course where I deep dive into everything about Thrive Apprentice and all of the templates, particularly uh, with the Thrive Visual Editor update. I'm going to have an entire module on that, uh, and we're going to go in and create templates together, and I'll give you my recommendations for the best way to implement. So that's going to do it for this overview, and I'll see you in the next video.